Here you see my wood pile. This is where I get the wood for my salt shakers. A couple of salt shakers in here. My 1955 Logan metal lathe. After cutting the firewood into pieces, I bandsawed off a few corners so that I had a little bit of a roughed out design. Now I stick it in the uh, metal lathe in the four jaw chuck and tighten it down. The next step is to bore the hole for the salt. I like to do the roughing on the lathe because it uh, is a little bit faster. I turned a mandrel on the metal lathe to hold the salt shakers. On the mill, I cut a slot for a bolt to go through, and it screws through and into the salt shaker on the other side. A salt shaker's got to have a hole. It's got to have more than one hole if it's a pepper shaker, but uh, I'll just use this hole as a guide to locating the other holes. We can have a whole lot of shaking going on pretty soon, but we got to put a bung in these guys if it's going to hold salt. This is the bung I buy. You just grab a bung and put it in the bottom of a salt shaker, after you put the salt in, of course, and it holds it in. Just a little rubber bung goes right in that hole.